Thank <laughs> you.
God, those guys are pretty good, huh, Barbie? Sure. This is so cool. It's great. Being on TV, hi, TV land. I'm Ken, and this is a fantasy for me. Do you know what a fantasy is, Barbie? I have fantasies all the time. That's what I'm all about. Well, what a secret to tell you, Ken. <laughs> tell me, Barbie. I, I've had a fantasy about you. You have? You bet. Don't tell me now, because we're on TV live. <laughs> don't tell me now. Don't tell me now. Now. Don't. So don't tell me later. In my fantasy, you had chest hair. <laughs> Barbie, I don't have chest hair. I never will have chest hair. It's not part of my fantasy to maybe have chest should, hair. Maybe you should join the hair club for men or something. Barbie, who have you been talking to? Don't you read? You, I can't. Hey, hey, TV Land, TV Land. This group you're listening to is called Honky Sausage. And they're from, where, where are you from, fellas? Dilworth. Dilworth. Minnesota. Dilworth? That's a real place. I'm from Malaysia. Barbie, where are you from? I'm not sure. <laughs> Dilworth. Wow. Did you, you made it here despite the weather? We're very happy to have you here. And we'd like you to play another song. Good. Do you have do you know do you do you have a song about it or about a fantasy? Yes. <laughs> well Barbie and I would like that. Alright. <laughs>
yes, obsess, yes, 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 obsess, yes, 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 obsess, get obsessed yes, with yes, Calvin Swine, yes, yes, yes. This forest giant is the largest known tree of its kind standing in Montana. Indeed, it measures 78 inches in diameter at its breast. It is also the Montana State Tree. It contains roughly 17,000 board feet of lumber, which can build an average two houses. This time of year, it drops its cones, as we can see. It's now falling upon the tree. This tree is 377 years old, and it's still growing, as we can see. There, high in its branches, is a mountain lion. This is a ponderosa pine. It was here since time and more. Five percent of the people in the world consume one third of its resources and produce almost half the non-organic waste. Those people are us. from the Information Highway with Misty and Candy. Once again this winter, wild buffalo are wandering outside the boundaries of Yellowstone National Park, causing concern for motorists. Yesterday, one buffalo bull began butting heads with cars after motorists surrounded the animals for photo opportunities. After the bull attacked 37 cars and trucks, traffic was backed up for over two miles. As of today, authorities have not been able to corner the beast because fences cannot contain it. Silly buffalo. The U.S. Army offered today to catch the buffalo as if they can catch a buffalo. 
if they in turn could use the bow in counteroffensive maneuvers. <laughs> the Humane Society of America objects to the Army's idea. Good for them. Claiming following orders is an unethical treatment of wild animals. To you, Candy. Thank you, Connie. I just want to tell everybody that I have a serious cold this weekend. And so you'll just have to bear with my sniffles. Ozone. Ozone 2, the artificial ozone layer launched by NASA last fall, has collapsed. We never really expected ozone 2 to last anyway, said a NASA spokesperson. In fact, we're kind of glad to have it out of the way. Ozone 3, which is made of plywood, will be launched at sunrise tomorrow. The nearest Southgate Mall and KB Toy and Hobby manufacturers of the popular children's toy, My First Toaster, have been charged with violating Section 4, Article 3 of the Freedom of Imagination Act. <coughs> My First Toaster is a realistic pop-up toaster which comes with four slices of styrofoam bread. Regulators say the styrofoam bread too closely resembles real factory bread. The manufacturers of My First Toaster has agreed to withdraw from the product, but will continue to sell its equally popular adult version, My 43rd Toaster. This toaster also comes with four slices of styrofoam bread, but adults are exempt from the Freedom of Imagination Act because, according to Section 5, Article 9, by that age, you really should know better. The Montana legislator has banned breastfeeding. Sorry, women. Nine out of ten doctors' tests prove that breasts can be used more efficiently to promote automobile sales, said a government spokesperson. Archaeologists have finally found something of great importance. They've found God. Archaeologists working in a theoretical field claim to have found God. Now all we have to do is figure out how old it is and how it worked, if at all, prayed someone for the find. Many philosophers <coughs> are not surprised by the discovery, claiming that they too have found God. Besides, if they, the archaeologists, found anything, they probably found no thing. One philosopher essayed, at least that's what I've found. I know that I've found God. <laughs> Experts are baffled. Researchers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology have discovered that the human brain, wait, no, human brain, just like Misty's, is very much like a lady's purse. According to a spokesperson, you just never know what might be in there, <laughs> which is so true. <laughs> <laughs> sure is. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Special report. Daredevil Great, Evil Knievel, has announced he will try to jump over the Berkeley pit in his hometown of Butte in an effort to draw attention to this <coughs> uh, to the city's serious drinking water pollution problem. The event is expected to be a big one, and Knievel hopes to raise millions of dollars for water filters. He's such a hero. Knievel said he might not make it all the way over the pit on his repaired rocket cycle, s Sky Cycle, but he added he has no choice. I love Butte, and you know, I'm right there with him. I'm Irish. And maybe it's time I die for Butte, he says. Knievel is hoping to attempt the jump on April 1st. I know I'll be there. Back to you, Misty. Thanks. Public mystery solved. After several weeks of certain investigation, members of especially obvious police squad have located a way. A way is where your garbage goes when we dispose of it, said an obvious official. Although we've always known that, we've never really known what it meant. After tracking a truckload of garbage en route to a way, the obvious police concluded that the garbage ends up staying roughly where we put it. <laughs> That's roughly what seems to happen, he said. News that a way had been discovered was met with reactions. I never knew what happened to my garbage when I put it on the curb for pickup, 
said one resident. All I knew was that by morning, it was gone. Away is a good place for it, I guess. Smart resident. <laughs> Other residents also found the news comforting. Now that the mystery is solved, someone sighed, we can once again go about our lives just as we used to before all this, you know, mystery. <laughs> a warning has been issued to people going away for the weekend. Watch out. <laughs> The Missouri Chamber of Commerce has devised an innovative scheme to solve two pressing problems, lack of parking and green space. The new greening plan calls for the creation of park parks. A park park will only accept green cars, creating when near, the f near full the illusion of more green space. Solving two problems simultaneously is nothing short of a miracle, said one park parker and it's actually quite pleasing to the eye. Is NATO's new smart move really a smart move? The United States government plans to airdrop two child families complete with white picket fences and three car garages all over the globe. Shh, I spy. NASA recently launched a new spy satellite capable of reading your thoughts. Previous spy satellites were only able to read license plates, but now they can read your mind, thought someone in the know. According to one Big Brother watcher, the only way to protect your thoughts is to think of nothing but license plate numbers. This surely subverts subversive thinking in a huge way. We've got some good news for our little Cabbage Patch kids. A spokesperson for the American Right to Life Association has announced that the group intends to broaden its base of operations to include Cabbage Patch Kids. Sweet kids. These kids are being abandoned all over the country in rich neighborhoods as well as in poor, said the spokesperson. They have rights that need to be protected. Cabbage Patch Kids possess adoption papers, papers and birth certificates. Legal experts predict that the Supreme Court will be forced to decide whether the dolls are eligible for constitutional protection, which they should be, baby bonuses, and ultimately health insurance. We also intend to legal action against those who have abandoned these dolls, said the spokesperson. We just need to gather up some more bills of sale and letters to Santa to strengthen our case. I hope everyone participates in this. The big question tonight is, are people on TV merely acting? TV Guide interest groups issued a trance-breaking public reminder today. People on television are paid to act the way they do. We tend to forget that TV is a fiction with no beginning, middle, or end, the public reminder said in person. So tell me, does that mean that I'm acting in agriculture? A group of anarchist cows in the United States have staged a free-fall protest against what they call excessive human control. The renegade bovines parachuted into downtown New York yesterday and tied up traffic for several hours before police <coughs> could impose order. Officials from the American Institute for Domestication and Control have opened talks with the cows at their headquarters in Jersey City. That sounds like a real riot. A Missoula squirrel has been charged with trespassing. He's the first squirrel to ever get issued a ticket. The squirrel was discovered in a college street dumpster eating a privately discarded pizza crust. It's real rough times for everyone out there these days, folks. I've got some good news, though. <laughs> meat is now found vegetarian safe. Most commercial meat is now vegetarian safe said spokesperson for the meat in industry. We've done some tests, and there's not much actual meat there anymore, they coughed. <laughs> Great news for me. <laughs> well, I guess um, there's a few more things in the barnyard news. Under the new Landlord and Insect Act, people doing yard work must now provide all local insects with 48 hours advance notice before rezoning rock, soil, and other insect homes. This is a way of helping our insects out. 
And officials from the Department of Food and Zookeeping have announced that due to increased growth of chickens, the minimum size for a chicken cage will be increased by two-thirds of a cubic inch. That way, all chickens will be able to be fit into an egg carton. That's the news tonight. Montana's favorite folk songs with the legendary Chester Shadow. Sing along to songs such as Rush is Right. I hope we don't have to fight. Believe me, I know Rush is right. He says what he knows and he's right, I suppose. Cause he's got two shows day and night And I just know Rush is right Rush is right Yes, you will love these favorites Such as I Release Cutthroats I don't go over my limit And I seldom my boat I fly fish cause it's fun and I release cutthroats oh yes I release cutthroats included as he told me as we gazed about the stars no matter where you ride, that's where you are. No matter where you ride, that's where you are. He told me as we gazed up at the star. You will love Please Don't Come In, Wet Dogs. Wet dogs, how'd you get so wet? Oh, stay outside, my stinky pet. As you knew, love them all. He knew that it had to hurry. Go and poo, go and poo, so no one would worry. Then he thought, yes, he thought. After he had gone, never squat, never squat with your spurs on. You'll love, I'd rather be hunting. Satellite TV and stereo in my living room. But darling, do you know something? I'd rather be hunting. I'd rather be hunting. So order now and get this special offer. Just call Chester Shadow now while this offer lasts, for it won't last forever. <laughs> instability over the ocean is giving rise to the development of strong mesoscale convective systems. Copious low-level moisture and high solar insulation coupled with strong directional and magnitudinal wind shear with height is augmenting the intensity of these systems as they propagate east-northeastward over the oceans giving rise to potential for severe thunderstorm activity. Less Decreasing month. surface pressure stimulates low-level convergence and increasing baroclinicity while a particularly potent upper level tropospheric jet stream increases divergence aloft, sustaining the convective activity throughout the nocturnal hours.
Note that there are several convective systems indicated here. This one in particular, indicating the classic anvil shear off and the strong overshooting cumulonimbus dome, so characteristic of severe thunderstorm activity. Newer convection spurred on by diurnal heating coupled with distinct and active outflow boundaries will ensure the continued development of strong convective activity through tonight into tomorrow. Oh, the wind and rain. Here we have an exquisitely developed tropical cyclone over the Pacific Ocean, west of the, of the Hawaiian Islands. Warm sea surface temperatures coupled with Warm sea surface temperatures, along with warm sea surface temperatures with a gradual east-west pressure gradient and very weak wind shear have given rise to the development of this powerful typhoon as it propagates east toward the Hawaiian, east toward the Hawaiian Islands. Okay. Note the well-developed outer convective band spiraling inward to the main rain shield. Also the extensive development the ex also the extensive convective development down deve uh, also note the extensive deve uh, they got to yeah also note the extensive convective development downstream of this of the typhoon as it propagates eastward While extreme, while extreme convective activity occurring at the eye wall is indicated by the presence of the characteristic overshooting cumulonimbus domes, indicative of violent winds and torrential downpours at the surface. Strong subsidence south and west of the storm has suppressed all convection and cloud cover, giving rise to clear skies, light winds, and very warm temperatures at the surface. As the final installment of tonight's weather segment, I want to inform the public at large that we have just completed an intensive study to determine whether or not such things as the buildup of greenhouse gases, the destruction of the ozone layer, deforestation, pollution of the oceans, and so forth, is actually creating any problems as far as the Earth's climate and weather patterns are concerned. And in all honesty, people, there's only one place where we've found where there's anything to worry about. And that place is right here. So unless you're from anywhere else except in this place here, you have absolutely nothing to worry about these effects, and you can believe anything that the corporate media is telling you. Unless you're from the third stone from the sun, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. So I hope I've helped you to rest assured not to so I hope you all feel better and you won't further be alarmed by any of these sensationalist reports that some of these people are giving you concerning global climate change or alterations in weather patterns or desertification or any of that other absolutely ridiculous crap. <laughs> Conclusion, we can go on doing as we've been doing, driving our automobiles wherever we want to, consuming fossil fuels, destroying rainforests pouring chlorofluorocarbons into the atmosphere, and just living like white Americans should live. With, uh, we're with Sh Chef, Chef Ames, the uh, anarchistic alchem... What's your name again? I am Chef Ames, the optimistic anarchistic <laughs> food cook. <laughs> Something. When, and what are you cooking, Ames? I, I am bringing Missoula, the one and only Jello Volcano. Can we watch? You can watch. This comes from a long back. I believe that Benjamin Franklin brought this back from France when he's the ambassador there. He got kicked out of a whorehouse or something for having too much fun. but. So here we go, watch this. Is this easy to prepare? This is, oh, it's a little hard. I got this special jello from Hanford down in uh, the Tri Cities in Washington, and this is heavy water, so here we go. I had a fantasy about a volcano earlier. And this is dedicated to, <laughs> to my son and Harry Truman, buried under Mount St. Helens.
Fantasy food, huh? Uh, this is this just is like a fantasy. Dreams are made of. It reminds me of something. What does this remind you of, Barbie? Ooh. I can't say. Is it a fantasy you had with Ken? <laughs> Not quite, huh? Is this one of your more famous recipes? Well, yes, it is. It's very fun at children's birthday parties and uh, 50th anniversary, wedding anniversaries. People really love this, especially in Minnesota. Jello is real good. But if you put some celery in there and carrots and kiwis, it really adds to it. Where did you say the recipe came from? I believe it comes from France. Benjamin Franklin brought this over when he was a master cool. over there. Do you have a cookbook? I'm working on one right now. Should be soon, done soon. That's one of my fantasies. Being in a cookbook? <laughs> or cooking? <laughs> Do you I cook, would. Barbie? Do you cook for Ken? I cook I'm going to taste it. Mmm. <laughs> Barbie, come taste this. <laughs> oh, this is. Ow! It kind of hurts my face. Oh, oh. ow! Oh. It must be that heavy water I used. What's in there? It feels like acid or something. It's, it smells. But it tastes good. Heavy water and plutonium. <laughs> One little more here. <laughs> That'll clean you right up. And how many will this feed? This will feed a party of eight, eight to ten. And what, what would you suggest, uh, the, what kind of an occasion would you suggest, and what mood would you suggest this goes with? Festive moods. Festive. Lots of margaritas, kids' birthday parties, piñatas. 50th wedding anniversary is a big hit, because people can't remember much when they've been married 50 years, so this kind of brings it all back together for them. Well, this has been wonderful. What else do we need to know? We know the occasion to serve the food. Is there a certain time of day? No, any time is okay. This is a, my little boy would eat Jello three times a day if you'd like, so Jello goes with every meal. Is it true it's made from boiled horse bodies? No, no, this is made from ground up horse's hooves. Oh, cool. That's how they make it, and then they, you know, they bleach it out and stuff, and, you know, they, they don't boil the bodies. Just checking. Yeah. That's kind of But it's gross. almost pure protein. It really would make your hair grow. If you ate a lot of this, your hair would grow so fast. Don't touch and my fingernails, hair. oh, I'm sorry. Not how sensitive you are about that. Yeah, Jello is the best thing for long nails and long hair. So. Can you tell me? Is this an expensive recipe? Oh no, this costs pennies to make. Pennies to make. How many? Isn't pennies? that wonderful? A couple dollars. Well, thank you very much for being on, on Oh My God with us. Well, thank you, Ken and Barbie. This was a pleasure. We had a great. Will you be back? I will try to be back. If you invite me, I'll be back with more fun cooking. Swell. Well, it's time now to hear some more music from Honky Sausage. And Barbie, I got something to tell you. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Isn't that special?
At Chum Creek Timber and Realty, we know how lucky we are to have been given all that public land decades ago by the U.S. Land Grant Program. And you know something? We took advantage of those trees for you, your family, and your community. And now that we're through liquidating the forests, we've decided to give the lands back to America with these special prices on mountain meadow lots with roughed-in roads. So call us at Chum Creek Realty and Timber. We're selling the West for you. Before me, right before us, right here, this is the Old North Trail. This is the trail that was used for hundreds of years by the prehistoric peoples. This right here is the place where they chose to go this way or that way. This, this trail, these ruts were carved by the travois of hundreds of thousands of Indians coming over the Bering Strait, dragging their travois up this gulch, dragging, causing these ruts that have been built over hundreds and thousands of years. This is where they decided to go this way or that way and the Old North Trail. Look, part of the bone. These, these fragments, these bones, are probably from some prehistoric peoples. Chips, perhaps, of something they had for dinner. Bone chips, perhaps, of tools. Right before us, right here, on this Old North Trail, as you can see, clearly marked, Ships, all these things that we can use to cure ourselves from various ills and problems that are probably created by the yellow zonkers. You can eat the yellow zonkers and then buy some medicine to cure you from the yellow zonkers. It was 
chest hair? Yes, it was great. Barbie, I don't have chest hair. It was a fantasy. I don't have ch Oh, Barbie, maybe you're right. Maybe... Did you? With chest hair. What? How's this look, Barbie? Where do you want it? Where do you want it, Barbie? Down here. Make a love trail. <laughs> where? Keep telling me where, Barbie. watching oh my god see you later next month we may be hosted by steve and skipper steve and skipper until then thanks and and uh, happy fantasy